Hey, how you doing? Uh, it is uh, Justin returning for my first practice session after my second lesson. So we've learned the E chord now and four strums to the bar stuff and uh, we're going to be doing some new songs and all of that. Um, first step is the chord perfect session. We've just got two minutes now on the E. E's a little easier than some of the other chords, or at least I found it to be. And I can only assume that other people do too. So we've got two minutes just, again, putting the chord on and off, getting our fingers in the right place. Off we go. So. Is E. Now noting that I know what E should look like, but it's quite probable. If this is just your first lesson learning the E chord, you're going to have to be looking at the chart a bit and trying to figure out. Where what fingers go. So I've got a little bit of an advantage here. To be honest, it doesn't make it loads easier. But things like the placement of the fingers, you know, that I keep talking about, that makes a difference. So I have to press quite so hard, although fingers are a bit sore today. Went for a swim earlier, so it could be to do with that, I don't know. one. I'm pretty happy with that. Log practice and continue. So we've now got chord perfect on the D and perfect on the A, just one minute on each one. So D is first on my little schedule here. So just the D. My, for the D chord, my second finger keeps folding down onto the nail. There you go, log practice and continue. Okay, chord perfect on the A now. Uh, pretty comfortable with A, really. So with this other hand. Some of this journey is about finding the right place. Like how the guitar fits with you. It's all different. So we've all got a different shape, body and fingers and different length arms and all of that. Okay, log practice and continue. Okay, now the anchor fingers exercise. Remember, you're gonna be going from E to A, 
<laughs> e to D to A to D. Oh, and I just dropped my pick there, and then we're going to be doing that over and over for two minutes, just that sequence. E, A, E, D, A, D. If you do that, you're doing all of the different changes that you might need for the anchor finger. So just let me hit start there. So E and A, first finger's got to slide up. There we go. And back to E and then D. So it's all now about first finger sliding between the first fret and the other two. That's it. A, E, D, A, D, E, A, E, D, A, D. Don't press too hard with this exercise. It's not about that. It's about getting the movements between these different chords. A to D getting used to that first finger. If you press real hard now, your first finger is going to get real sore, particularly because it's down all the time. A to D. E, A. E, D, A, D. So I just move it to position and I give it a little push at the end there. Then my first finger is starting to get a bit sore, so I might just Kill it with the pushing it fully down for a minute. Uh, a, D, E, A. E to A is still the hardest one for me for some reason. Not exactly sure why that is. There are a few different ways to play A. To be honest, after a little while you've probably might not do that so much. Uh, e to D is hard to. It's funny, you just do that little bit of practice on the A to D, your confidence gets up and then you realize that it's all back feeling hard again. Okay, log practice and continue. Okay, one minute changes D to A. It's the first one that's got off my list. Right pick as well. Okay, I wonder if it's Still going to be where it was the other day. Anyway, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Okay, 41. So I have gone faster than that, but that's okay. Log practice and continue. E to A. Okay, so this is a new one. I'm not expecting as good a result here. It's actually not bad. It's better than I was ex expecting, to be honest. 
It definitely feels harder though. Okay, E to D. One. One twenty-six. Okay, long practice. Okay, the riff. So there's a whole heap of points about this learning this riff. It's a, like a finger exercise. It's a tune. There's loads and loads of good things about it. Trying to stretch those fingers out, like I can already feel, that's like pretty awkward. You know, and these the hands probably fairly used to being dexterous from doing finger style and stuff like that. Oh, definitely feel it in the arm today. Anyway, here we go. One minute on this. Trying to just play the one string, of course. Just try and using an anchor finger. Does seem to improve the accuracy of my picking. <laughs> my little finger feels so uncoordinated, it's really funny. It's one of those things where you're used to practicing these kind of things, it's like becomes just a normal thing, and then you you realize actually quite how hard it is to do. Um, okay, so we want uh, songs time now. I'm gonna do um, Three Little Birds by Bob Marley because I really like that song. It's a really good one for first going on your A, D and E. For some people I've recommended it as being the first song they learn, but maybe it's easier to start with just two chords and then go on to three. Um, so I'm going to use that song and I'm also going to use uh, For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springfield just because I'm a massive fan of the Springfield. Um, but you should choose the songs that you like doing in for your own practice time. Pick songs that you like. It's going to be a lot more inspiring than picking songs that I've chosen for you. Uh, so I'm just going to jump straight in and see how I go. I've got no idea how this is going to go. Um, we'll soon find out. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
go and for some reason I failed to uh, hit the start button for the songs again but I'm pretty sure it was around 12 that I started so I don't know what's wrong with me there um, need to sort out my use of the timer uh, okay so that was three little birds and the other one I wanted to do was this um, for what it's worth Buffalo Springfield I think this is a bit more E. God, my fingers are definitely a bit sore. Um, sore today than usual. I've started using a thinner pick as well, uh, which is definitely helping. Um, it's definitely so, the kind of thing. Everything's definitely today for some reason. Anyway, here we go. Let's definitely play this song. Okay. <laughs> kinds of pain going on there I definitely know what you guys are on where people are always saying oh it hurts it hurts it hurts and I'm like oh don't worry about it it's like yeah worry about it wow the big grooves in my fingers and everything okay I've got two minutes left so I'm just going to play the first part of that again just because it's good for my D to A you can practice longer for sure and just see if I can do it with 10 minutes practice a day practice 10 minutes songs I think it's a good balance
Um, did I get the... Come on, look at me. There you go. At the time, I think it softened on my phone. I've got to fix that. Um, so there you go. There's day one of lesson two. Um, hope you're having fun on the course and doing well and getting through the finger pain. I'll see you for more tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. forgot to hit the start button for the 10 minutes uh, of the song practice either that or uh, yeah so I'm just gonna let that go I'm gonna do another couple of minutes because I think I'm guessing that's how much time I've got left um, well the songs have got just two chords in them I can't remember silence is easy definitely does okay I'll do a couple of minutes of silence is easy here we go Oh. Slightly easier, it's a bit slower.
my fingers are hurting and I'm fairly sure I've clocked out on my 10 minutes uh, need to remember to uh, log that proper or use a timer that doesn't the screen doesn't go dead or something we'll, I'll figure that out uh, probably be easier using that stuff on a laptop to be completely honest the practice routine thing um, anyway there you go uh, there was my day four I'll see you uh, very soon for day five six and seven etc bye